Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Munch Bunch podcast. We're so excited to have you guys here. Uh, I'm Megan Vanoy, dental hygienist, malfunctional therapist, and of course, my co host, Kimi Nishimoto, also dental hygienist and malfunctional therapist. So, tonight, what we're doing is we're actually we're video recording and we're audio recording. So we decided that we wanted to talk about lip tape or mouth tape, taping your mouth shut while you're sleeping, and also go over a bunch of different like products that we have to talk about and what we use, what we like, what we don't like, um, and give just kind of pros and cons to all the different stuff out there. We know there's a lot of information out there. And so, what we want to do is just kind of help you guys find what works for you, why we need to lip tape, what else we could do to help us sleep at night. Um, we've talked about decongesting the nose before, and Kimmy did kind of a product review on a lot of the stuff that she likes to use to help her breathe better when she's sleeping. So now we're going to talk about lip tape itself. So, um, yeah, so Kimmy, do you want to talk about lip incompetence first, or do you want to talk about why yes. We- uh, sometimes talk, we have lip incompetence either because we have a lip tie. So like string down here. Mm-hmm. Mine is like probably grade three, two-ish. Yeah. But uh, the little cool. string. Mine's under, normal. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. The little yeah. string under the lip kind of acts like a rubber band to pull it up. Mm-hmm. Um, so the lip wants to curl under or just wants to be kind of lazy. Sit up like this. Mm-hmm. Mine used to, before I did myofunctional therapy, mine would always curl under mm-hmm. when I laughed or smiled. Yeah. So had a picture of like that up on my wall for like five years at my mom's <laughs> house. I was mad about that. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it will tuck under or the lips are just kind of like droopy and pouty, which on Instagram is cute in real life. Like you're going to get chap lips and maybe drool. Like yeah. Me, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, like catch flies in your mouth or your mouth gets dry and your breath gets weird. And <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. one of the goals of myofunctional therapy is nasal breathing only and lip seal. I heard someone say once that if you breathe with your mouth, you're going to breathe with your mouth if your lips are apart, basically, because it's a path of least resistance. It's just mm-hmm. way easier to mouth breathe. That's why everybody does it. Mm-hmm. So we want to get the lips stronger. That's why we do myofunctional therapy. But at nighttime, it's kind of a free for all because sleep you doesn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So sometimes mm-hmm. she needs a little help. So, yeah. well, and what's cool too is when we lip tape at night. What we're doing is we're also training ourselves during the day um, to actually keep our lips together more. So it's kind of a two-parter to where if you are lip taping when you sleep at night, you know that you're getting a solid six to eight hours in a row where your lips, even if it's forced, they are together, okay? So out of that 24 hours, all of a sudden you're like, oh, a quarter of the day, my lips are actually closed and then I need to do the rest. So there's kind of like a brain to mouth kind of subconscious type of thing that's happening when we start lip taping that actually helps a lot of times with during the daytime mouth breathing too, which is really cool. Yeah. For me, Megan, um, I felt like my snoring went down a lot when Mm -hmm. I started lip taping. My apnea went down. Um, My snore index on snore lab that went down Mm -hmm. and my jaw is so much more calm. Like it still Mm -hmm. pops because like my bones are super weird, but it doesn't hurt anymore. And I don't Mm -hmm. wake up with the headaches. What about you? Like how's lip taping helped you? Yeah, I've noticed a lot less clenching and grinding. Um, I've noticed a lot less and headaches too. That's a big one. Um, I I know that I sometimes would snore, um, but mainly even just breathe through my mouth when I was sleeping. So I wake up more well rested in particular. And Um, I just feel like I get less brain fog and less tired throughout the day because I'm actually getting really good quality sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I can tell a difference from when I tape and when I don't tape for sure. Yeah. Um, One other thing is like if you drool on your pillow or 
sometimes you're snuggling and you fall asleep on your partner and you may or may not drool on them too. So <laughs> yeah. drooling on somebody's sleeve. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to go through, um, obviously like make sure that you can breathe through your nose. So go listen to our decongesting the nose podcast if you haven't already. And then let's take it away. Yeah. We spent yeah. a lot of money on lip taping. So we have <laughs> and a lot of weird nights. <laughs> so true. Well, so, and the other thing too, Kimmy, you brought up a good point. You know, obviously we want you to make sure you can breathe through your nose. It's not necessarily recommended to, for all little kids either. Okay. So um, there is some kid friendly lip tape that you can use. Um, but you know, you don't want to lip tape like your two year old. Okay. <laughs> um, you want kids who are a little bit older, if you're gonna, if you're gonna start seeing them and again, making sure that they can breathe through their nose, that they feel comfortable. Sometimes for people who really struggle, whether it's kids or adults, we recommend taping during the day for a bit first to get used to it, to feel comfortable, to like also know like in your heart that you can breathe through your nose. So then you have less of an issue at night. Now, some people can just tape at night right away and have no problem. Um, They really notice a big difference. Actually, now that I'm thinking about Kimmy, one of the big things that I've had patients bring up is they move less in their Mm -hmm. sleep. Same Um, with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really active sleepers. Um, you know, they end up, their head ends up where their feet were, or they're just constantly moving around, that type of thing. That's one thing that a lot of my patients have noted over the years, that they tend to actually, like, just sleep more soundly in the same place, and they're not thrashing and tossing and turning, so. Yep, that's, that's a good point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so, and again, kind of why we tape is because we want you guys to, you know, breathe through your nose, keep your lips together, work on having your tongues fully up in the roof of your mouth all of those kind of myofunctional goals. And again, kind of subconsciously training yourself at night to then help yourself during the day. Um, And it all just kind of works together like it's supposed to. So Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like Kimmy said, we have a ton of different mouth tapes to talk to you guys about tonight. (laughs) And also (laughs) fails. Like I'm all about trying something cheap and easy. So I have also have a lot of fails. So I will share those with you as well. Me too, actually. (laughs) So, all right, Kimmy, what's the first thing you've got over on your side? Okay, should we start with our loves first? I feel like we should start with our loves. We can, yeah. Yeah, and we'll go back from there. Let's do it. Um, My very favorite right now is Dr. Dan, who is on our podcast, Sleepy Strip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my angel right now. Mm -hmm. It honestly is my favorite because I feel like I am getting a grumpy cat wrinkle. (laughs) So this one, it has anchorage above your your cheeks. Yeah. So it anchors up here to kind of lift you. And then Mm -hmm. it grabs you by your chin to keep you forward. So it's kind of like a mandibular advancement with a lip tape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really like it. And it's very comfortable. Um, I like to put chapstick on first so I don't get any sticky stuff on my lips. Uh Um, I'll show you how to put it on. Let's rip this little tabby thing. Uh, This is amazing now because this used to take a month to get here from Australia and now it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And then I roll my lip together a little bit. Yep, always. That is the secret to mouth tape right there is rolling your lips under no matter which one it is, and then putting it on. Yep. Yep. Gorgeous. So, so if it I also lay down, like I wouldn't, like my jaw cannot fall back and collapse my airway. So I feel very safe mm-hmm. and it's actually extremely comfortable. You feel very secure. Your jaw can relax. Mm-hmm. It's lovely. Mm-hmm. Actually, it seems yeah. really silly, but it's very lovely. And it's kind of a big strip. Like the, I, like that's just the reality like it takes up it looks like a vein mask mm-hmm. um, but what's cool about it um, is you can adjust your sleepy strip it also as you saw Kimmy peel it off it really wasn't that painful mm-hmm. um, you can adjust your sleepy strip you can trim it to make it smaller um, so you can like trim a little bit off the bottom trim a little off your wings make it a smaller strip And then again, same thing, just peels off. 
and it can roll under. I kind of like the little wings at the top though because again for my weird wrinkle thing I feel like mm -hmm. it lifts me. <laughs> Yeah. The other well, thing that's just if you feel like if it's too bulky too, right? So yeah. if you're like, man, this thing's a beast. Um, you know, the other thing you can do is you can actually, if you're feeling a little claustrophobic, yep. Mm -hmm. In yep. a pinch, I'll rip it too. I mean, yeah. ideally you could cut it, but it'll rip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're feeling a little claustrophobic, you just, you can cut out the middle. Doo, doo, doo. Yep. Cut yourself a little mouthful. Still roll your lips under. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's so much you can do with these to make them comfortable and to work for you. Mm -hmm. um, I personally like to use these every night. Um, when I travel, I use something different, and I'll tell you guys what that is, just because they are a little big. So I'll I'll show you guys my travel product. Um, yeah. I mean, I would only like I wouldn't say there's any negatives. I don't love the packaging, which is hilarious. And I think that's just because I'm a Portlander and I'm like, all oh, this paper, I want to recycle. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I think that's just the Portland in me. Uh, yeah. But it also on the back has instructions. It even tells you how you can like do some lighter coverage. Um, and I think that's great. I think it's great because it's got quick tips. It's got adjusting it. You know, it has how to use it, which is really cool too. So like, I love that about it. So yeah, I that's the sleepy strip. I asked, uh, um, I had a meeting with Dr. Dan Hansen about yeah. this. He's the inventor. And yeah. he told me that for kids, it's kind of almost a competitor to myotape because it has this box you can take out if you're worried about the kids. So then they could have an emergency hatch if needed, mm -hmm. you know. And then the kids can also, if they, you want to make it more fun, they could draw something on there. Oh, yeah, it's cute. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, and speaking of, might as well talk about it, and speaking of myotape, uh, myotape is the newest tape out from uh, Buteco Breathing, Patrick McKeown. He is like an amazing, amazing uh, Buteco Breathing guy. He wrote The Oxygen Advantage. He wrote Close Your Mouth. He's got great YouTube videos. He's really a leading leader in the field as far as like breathing. Um, so he uh, we'll talk about his original invention, I guess, second. We'll talk about myotape first. So he recently came out with the myotape. Um, it's kind of like a stretchy, kind of sticky. It actually almost reminds me of KT tape. So yeah, if you guys know KT thought, tape. Um, he came out with like a kid's version, but also an adult version. So it has two different sizes. And this one, again, is meant to give you a little bit of space between the lips. So you, again, roll your, always roll your lips under, you guys. But roll your lips under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just goes around the outside, okay? So one thing I would say, as you can hear me talking with the tape on or see me talking with the tape on, it's not as tight of a seal. Mm -hmm. You can rub it. I and think so it's a really good intro tape or like mm -hmm. a kid-friendly one because they can yeah. still talk and they could breathe if they felt nervous, but... Yeah, but it really doesn't seal the lips. And so for my really bad mouth breathers, I don't love it as much. I think it's great. I think it does a great job pushing things together. Um, and it's more if you need like a gentle type of reminder. Um, it's really easy on the skin. It doesn't hurt to peel off, uh, which we'll talk about the other one here in a minute. Um, and it's got, you know, it's got the fun, cute designs. And again, it's nice and stretchy. Um, so, I mean, I like the myotape. I don't hate it. I just don't feel like it's as full coverage as I need it to be for some people. Mm -hmm. You've used it, Kimmy. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it was good. And I thought it was like a good intro tape or if someone's like nervous to do it. Um, but I like the tightness of other tapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah. would really recommend it for like my mini myo patients or yeah. my, my kids mm -hmm. or people that are very nervous and they're like, Kimmy, I don't want to tape. And I'm like, yeah. try this one, <laughs> ease into it, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Or this is a good one to do during the day too. So this is a really good one, like like we talked about. So if you're going to work on your kids taping during the day when they're screen time or when they're, um, you know, reading or just that type of thing, this is a good one for them because then they can talk if they need to. Um, and so they can always come back, but then it still encourages them to keep their lips together when they're doing those types of things. So um, yeah, that's the, that's the Mayo tape. I'm, I always, I think Patrick McCann always comes out with amazing stuff. So mm -hmm. um, it's just lighter coverage. So it kind of depends on, on your needs. Yeah. Sweet. All right, Kimmy, let's go back and forth. What you got over there? I think uh, I have more tape than you. So I know you've been <laughs> in the taping game longer. Um, this is my current <laughs> favorite. It's called 3M Micropore. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. one is like super cheap and yep. I like it. It doesn't stick too hard. Um, mm -hmm. It's easy to remove and it feels like it's very tight. Um, so I've been doing experiments on it. I've been trying to make like a ghetto version of Sleepy Strip where I do like a Y shape. Mm -hmm. But normally I'd go horizontal, roll my lips together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's cool about the 3M Micropore, they also have a sensitive version, which I think Kimmy has on her side too. Um, but is it comes in a roll so you can cut it to kind of whatever your, uh, you know, whatever your size is. So if you want to go smaller and just go in the middle, I have some claustrophobic patients who actually like to cut two strips and do them just on the side. Mm -hmm. And so just side to side, so that way the middle is still kind of open. Um, and so it's really, it's versatile and it's a really easy one for people to buy. Um, so it is, I think it's a great start too. It's really mm -hmm. like low tech, low key. Um, it's pretty no, easy to remove yeah. and I don't think it has a bad residue. When mm -hmm. I started, I was very nervous because I had apnea. Like I would stop breathing and gasping for air before I had mm -hmm. my tongue tie surgery. So I started out taping down the middle to kind of get used to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's and then I graduated up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, speaking of really sticky tapes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so... One of my personal, like long-term old school favorites is Patrick McCown's original tape. Um, so they're called the Snorless Strips and they come, I was kind of showing a patient how to like tear these up. So it comes in a thing like this, okay? And then it's all perforated and then you can like adjust accordingly. So technically, um, technically what you're supposed to do is wear the full strip this way. So again, lips under, tape it on. Okay. I don't usually do that. And I don't usually ask my patients to do that. So this is the stickiest tape I've ever used in my life. And I mean that in like a good way. Um, so what I actually do is I actually take one strip and I cut it into thirds. Okay. So I make it into little thirds and I peel it off. And this is part of the big lip roll is if you don't roll your lips together, it's, you may or may not <laughs> pull off some of your lip skin in the morning. I may or may not have done that a handful of times over the past like four years. So <laughs> this stuff is sticky. It is nice to put a little bit of chapstick on. Um, and again, roll your lips under, tape right across, right in the middle is what I do. So here. Mm. And then I always relax. So one thing, I don't know if we've said yet, but after you roll your lips in, put the tape on, then you relax your lips. You don't have to have them rolled all night long. Um, but this stuff is so sticky and it sticks on your mouth the entire night. I have never once with this tape woken up and it's not on my mouth. So that can be one of the issues with some of these other types of tapes that aren't super sticky. And I'll show, we'll show you some of those mm -hmm. uh, to where you don't, you wake up in the morning and they don't end up on your mouth because whether you took it off subconsciously in your sleep or they just weren't that sticky. And I have never, ever had that problem with the Snorlax strip. So they are low tech, they're OG. These are the ones I always take when I'm traveling because I do, I can put them really small. And so I can take you know, take a handful of them versus taking a bunch of sleepy strips, which I use a lot. Um, they just take up more space in the suitcase. So I like the Snorlax strips. 
that is what I send to every single one of my patients. So I send them, I start them there and I send them a sheet of those and that's where we start and then I give them all their other options. So um, big fan of the old school snoreless strips and those you can also get on Amazon. So, mm -hmm. oh, I guess we didn't say this with myotape. Myotape you have to order from the site. Um, so that's, it's not available on Amazon. Um, it's like the Buteco Clinic or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll find that. We'll put all the links in for all of this stuff. So you can also Google Myotape Buteco or something like that. Um, but yeah, ButecoClinic.com. It's under products. And then you can, you can do the Myotape. So mm -hmm. that does come, and I believe it actually comes from Ireland. So it does take a little bit longer to get here. Um, Two to four weeks, I think. Um, yeah with COVID, it's sometimes longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So give yourself plenty of time and order something else as a backup in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the size small is for like ages four to 16 and the large tape is ages 16 and upwards. So um, yeah, and they've got lots and lots of strip options available. So um, yeah, that's all, all good stuff there. And then yeah, the Snorlist strips, those are on Amazon, that's where I order them from. Okay, so before I fell in love with Sleepy Strip and I knew about the 3M Micropore, I was using the Next Care Sensitive Medical Tape. And it was like good, like it never hurt my lips or anything, but I will complain that it was not sticky enough. So mm -hmm. I would agree. Like hit and miss, like whether it would stay on or not, depending on like how mm -hmm. moist my lips were. So it had to be very dry. And I really had to like rub it on afterwards. So I kind of ditched that one. I'm not a fan anymore. Um, also, yeah. what did I, you think about that one? That's one I always would wake up with on my pillow, somewhere else, not on my face, once in my hair. I just don't feel like it's sticky enough. Yeah, it would like flap around mm -hmm. in the night and I'd wake up and do that. Yeah, so again, I think that's a good one for during the day, you know, low key that you can use. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wanted to try it because it was sensitive for allergies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I will say my other taping fail is like before I really wanted to invest like much time or money into it, I did experiments using Band-Aids. <laughs> It's fine, like you can do it in a pinch, right? But uh, I don't know. Band aids are sticky and it hurts. It hurts yeah. so bad. Yeah. Oh, so you did it across like that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they're super mm -hmm. sticky. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't stick too much when you got on there. But yeah, think about ripping a band aid off. Ow! Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> or I would like cut the, the thing off and go uh, vertically. Oh. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But here's what I'll say about that. I did that for a while, just like mm -hmm. testing things, you know, because people are like, can I use a Band-Aid? I'm like, I don't know. I'll try it out and I'll let you know. I got the weirdest sore on my lip. Like, it's still oh, weird. messed up. Like, it like tore the skin up here. And then I had this weird pimple thing for like a couple months. Yeah. Until yeah. It over. So not mm -hmm. a fan of the Band-Aid, like no. weird adhesive stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, another one that patients have kind of liked over time, I'm not in love with them, um, are the Somnifix strips, mm. okay? So the Somnifix are ones, they look like a little frowny face, which I don't love, but, <laughs> um, and then they have this little window that you can like breathe through if you really needed to. Oh, interesting. Um, and then they have these two little like, side non-sticky parts so you can like peel off your tape pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you roll it under. Mm. Oh, see, and it's not even that sticky. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rubbing it makes it a little stickier. Yeah, that's not great. But the sides come up really easily because they don't stick all the way through. Um, and if you really are a mouth breather, you could easily breathe through this little hole there. Um, and I just have never found them to be that sticky. I find them kind of uncomfortable on the edges. Um, I have in the past experiment trimmed off the sides. So 
I'll show you. This one has definitely ended up in my hair. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this one has definitely not stayed on my mouth because it just doesn't really stay sticky enough. What is that texture? It looks like kind of gooey, like rubbery. No, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. You can like hear it. Oh. Yeah. So I've done it this way, you know, like I pretend like I have a sleepy strip. Uh, so, hmm. But yeah, again. It still doesn't look very sticky. But again, it just doesn't stick. Like I, there was, there's, that took me nothing to like get it to come up. Mm -hmm. And then you wake up like this or, you know, you wake up with it on your mouth. So I've had some patients who like it, but I'm not a big fan. I don't usually recommend it. Um, yeah, some of the fixed strips don't do it for me. Hmm. I've also tried, <laughs> <laughs> these are called, this is called mouth seal. Okay, the only English word on here is mouth seal, breathe well, sleep well. So I think it's a, uh, maybe Japanese or Korean or some sort of Asian based company. Okay. <laughs> uh, that looks Japanese. I recognize the character. Yeah. So um, there are these little X's. Okay. And you can kind of see that on the package. And again, I got these off Amazon. Um, so I had a patient who was using them. And so I was like, well, I don't know. I'll try it. Um, so they look like these little X's. Okay. Oh. And they're supposed to go like skinny ways up. Roll your lips. Hmm. And these ones are okay. Do you feel like you could cheat around the sides? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Um, and again, they're not the super stickiest. Sometimes they feel a little long. I think I've tried them this way, like this way too. So they're okay. How's they, the pain on removal? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just don't feel like they're strong enough or sturdy enough to really keep you taped all night long. Mm. Which I just don't feel like always goes into necessarily a lot of thought process around that. You know what I mean? Like it, it's got, it does have to be sticky enough to stay on your face. Mm -hmm. But then you don't want it to be too sticky that it rips your face off. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, I just made a mistake on that one. Um, look at, okay, this is micro pore. Okay. Uh -huh. So I accidentally just bought like $30 worth of Metapore. I thought it was micro pore, but I read it <laughs> wrong. And that's like the stuff that when you get like a uh, immunization and they wrap your arm with that like super sticky gauze and then you have crap all over your skin for a week and a half. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I, I tried it. I was like, I spent $30. I'm going to try this. No. Yeah. Left so much residue. I'd like smile. I don't know. My lip would get stuck to my chin. And the only way I could get it off is like lotion and then another round of like alcohol wipes. Like don't mm -hmm. use Metapore tape. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Zero out and of 10. It hurts. I mean, it kept me up there, but like oh. it hurt to remove. So not a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's, you know, that's, them's our thoughts about mouth tape. Um, we love it. Uh, some, I guess, Tim, Kimmy, you call it lip tape. I call it mouth tape, whatever. Same thing. Um, it's really, really helpful. I've had so many patients be really skeptical at first mm -hmm. and then start using it and then feel like they can never sleep again without it, which is kind of me and Kimmy, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, actually, if you guys go back and listen to our podcast episode, which is Jennifer's story, um, she talks about the difference in using mouth tape for her. So she used to just a little snippet. She used to get up like seven ish times a night because she always thought she had to go to the bathroom. And instead, once she started mouth taping, she started getting up zero to one time. Mm, amazing. A night. And she was just waking herself up and she just assumed because she was awake that meant she had to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And it just was, she was lose. she had sleep apnea and she was just losing, you know, losing air. And so she woke herself up or what can happen when we stop breathing in our sleep. One of the like mechanisms that our body does 
is a brain sends a signal to our kidneys to flush our kidneys. Um, so that way it does wake us up. Um, so that's, you know, that's one of the ways that our body tries to save us from like stop breathing and dying in our sleep is making us having to go to the bathroom. Um, so that, that did go with, kind of hand in hand with Jennifer. So mm. the thing I thought was interesting about Jennifer too, is like, she was waking up all that time to go to the bathroom, but she was on the CPAP, which is like for her sleep apnea and then lip tape is what yeah. helped her. So that's so amazing. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the CPAP really only works if you're breathing through your nose. So <laughs> <laughs> if you have a CPAP and you still can't breathe through your nose, it's not going to be as effective because again, it's all meant to go into your nose, keep your lips together. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got on mouth tape. What else, Kimmy? Do we have anything else? Do we have any other products? I feel like that's it. Some people have asked me. Oh, about, yeah. So like my mom, for example, has mm -hmm. adhesive allergies. So mm. she cannot do lip tape. So for my mom, I know it's not great for you, but it's better than nothing. I told her she could get like a chin strap. Mm. but I've product tested chin straps too. If it just has one strap that goes up and over the head, it falls off very easily. So if you get a chin strap, look for the one that's got two that go around the back. Mm. That's much better. I yeah. will say that though, that Dr. Dan told me that he doesn't like using chin straps because yeah. it compresses the joint. Mm, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Lip tape is so comfortable because your jaw is yeah. coming forward. It's relaxed mm -hmm. in the joint. It's decompressing the joint, but a mm -hmm. chin strap is holding you. Yeah. Kind of kind pushing of it. Right yeah. There. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is like a sleep cue gel out there too. I've never tried it. And it's like a gel that's basically supposed to tape, like glue your lips together when you're sleeping. Um, but I don't know what the adhesive in that would be. So that might not even work for people who have adhesive issues. So that's an option. Maybe that's the next thing that we buy and try is the <laughs> sleep cute gel and we'll see. Um, but yeah, huge lip tape fans. And again, if, you know, if it freaks you out at all, always recommend doing it in the day first, getting used to it. Um, and then on top of that, making sure you can breathe through your nose and feel really comfortable with that. And then that'll make your, your life lip taping just a million times easier so mm -hmm. yeah Agreed. Cool. yeah we love lip tape so we're like the spokespeople for it yeah <laughs> <laughs> keeps me from drooling <laughs> uh-huh I know it keeps me like getting actually like legitimate sleep so um perfect well you guys thanks so much for listening as always we love having you um and we're always looking for other topics to discuss so if you guys have stuff you want us to talk about we're happy to, you know, we like to do a good mix of us talking about stuff as myofunctional therapists, us bringing on guest stars, um, you know, in the myofunctional world who are just so awesome and so smart. And so we're always open to, to new ideas. So yeah, follow us on Instagram at the Munch Bunch podcast. You can also follow Kimmy and I individually. Kimmy's at Mouth Muscle Memory Boot Camp, right? No, it's just at mouth muscle memory. Oh, okay. At mouth muscle memory. And then I am at um, NWMFT, so Northwest Myofunctional Therapy. Uh, you guys can always just email us, comment on our pages. Uh, we're, you know, we're there. So thanks for, thanks for watching this time. But also, if you're just listening, we appreciate that too. Mm -hmm. And you can find it on YouTube. We'll post it on our YouTubes too. Yeah, so YouTube and plus all your favorite podcast, you know, streaming services. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs>